Hello everybody, this is Gage with Bell Angel Gaming and this is my review of Ghost of Tsushima. Uh, I finished the story. I have it a hundred percent of it because I mean it's an overall game. It's kinda of, it takes forever hundred percent. But I finished the story. Did most of the content so far. I'll probably end up playing it again whenever I get a PS4 Pro. Uh, this is captured from my stream, Twitch tv slash battle angel game battle angel x23 and i've played the story in akira mode which i mean kawasawa mode i'm sorry akira kawasawa it's just supposed to be like an old samurai movie but anyways uh ps4 exclusive for now who knows it'll probably be on pc like like what like sony's kind of doing with all their whatever but uh it's a samurai open world game from sucker punch to guys who made infamous games and let me tell you this it's uh, I was oh, I was underwhelmed honestly I thought I was I felt you know whenever there's a new IP everybody gets so hyped even me I was like oh this is gonna be like the best game of the year um well for me the second best cause you know Cyberpunk is coming out but no uh, it's better games I mean Final Fantasy VII Remake was well, better than this. Uh, but it's better than... It was better than Last of Us 2. So, I mean, you got that. It's better than Avengers. But, I mean, it's just... It's not bad. It's fun. It's repetitive. It's another open world. That's all it is. It's just another open world game. You know, you're doing a story, and then you get your side missions, you take over to liber or li liberate the Mongols. I can't afford that. Excuse me, excuse to play it again. I might get a PS4 Pro next year. Wait for a sale or something like that. Or wait for, like, the release DLC. Like, I know they will. Uh, get a, wait till the complete edition comes out. Or something like that. I don't know. I really don't know. But anyways, uh, the combat, combat, I'm sorry, is, uh, a lot like, you know, old Assassin's Creed slash Arkham slash Shadow War slash, you know, whatever. You block, dodge, parry, whatever. You got. You can be a ninja, but you're stealth, but I kind of found the stealth kind of boring. I just, when, especially when you get to a point where you're OP and you can just, like, take out anybody, everybody with just a couple slashes. But... And then the open world stuff is the same, you know, collectibles, you find collectibles, liberate post, like, you know, like, it's like Far Cry, as far as that is concerned, you know, in Far Cry you had outposts to liberate, and you can do it stealthily, or you can just go in guns blazing. It's, to me, it's, it's really a cross between Old Assassin's Creed and Far Cry. That's, you know, you do your side missions which a lot of them are just follow me or follow some NPC to fight Mongols, follow them somewhere else, fight more Mongols. And the graphics is amazing. The, I've kind of peeked at some of the colors because I played most of the game in the carousel mode, which I probably will honestly won't do it again. It looks cool. I like the the direction, you know, Akira Kurosawa, one of the greatest filmmakers of all time. He's old samurai movies, but... The saturation, the white, is just too much. Too much white. And every, and the darks are too high. There's no... It's, it's, the contrast is very... It's very dynamic. I, I, I think next time I'll just play... And I also played it in Japanese. With subtitles. I'll probably play it again, but... Doing that, but... Just, I think color mode is better. Like I said, the white. It's not just black and white. It's not that it's just black and white. It's just very dynamic. Because the blacks are dark and the whites are white. There's no really, there's no really in between. But it's just repetitive. And the overall stuff, it's easy platinum if you want to deal with getting collectibles and stuff like that. Which, you don't really have to find them. Cause you gotta beat the game. It tells you where all the outposts are. You liberate 
area, it tells you where all the question marks or collectibles are. And you can go for them. Trying to play this game in one setting or one, like, through, no. So, it's just another overall game. I, I like it for the time being. Uh, I would not get it 60, right now, 60 bucks. I would wait for a sale or wait till it's, like, 40 at least. I mean, this kind of reminded me why I don't play overall games anymore. They were great back in, like, last early last decade, but. Now it's just they're just the run of the mill and they're, they're very very like boring. And this story it seems like the story of open world games are getting shorter and shorter, and it's relying more on the forcing you to do more on you're not really forcing you. You don't have to do it for the story. It's just oh look at the story, all the in game content. Well, anyways, I give it about maybe seven out of ten, honestly. Anyways, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like this video, share it, and if you want to see more, ring that bell when you get notified, and as always, y'all have a good night, weekend, morning, day, whatever. Peace.